Hi everyone, Mrs Reynolds here. So yesterday, um, the lovely Miss Duggan came on to read you a story and let you know that she was thinking of you all. Um, so I thought I would come along and do the same. So something I did think about was um, a Zentangle tutorial, but unfortunately at the moment, because I am washing my hands so much and sticking to the rules as we all are, um, my hands are really quite sore and they don't look very nice. So at the moment, I'm gonna pause on the Zentangle tutorial, but at some point, I think I will do that for you because it's really, really good. Um, and I found it really interesting over the last few days to learn a little bit of that. Um, I'm really fortunate because I get to hear from most of my class nearly every day. Um, I'm getting to see photographs of you, I'm getting little bits of your work, um, I'm getting some brilliant ideas from you. Some of you are doing things that I hadn't thought of um, and that's fantastic. So please do keep sharing those with me. I'm really grateful um, because I do really, really miss you. Obviously, I am still getting to see your learning, but what I'm not getting to do um, which is one of my favourite things to do, and I think most of you enjoy it as well, um, is to read together as a class. And we normally try and carve out a little bit of time for that. Um, my own children are sick of hearing my voice. So um, perhaps I could read to you instead. Um, and I've chosen a slightly longer book. So I'm not going to read it all in one go and make you a video that lasts for an hour. What I'm going to do instead is read a bit of it today and I'll do a little bit again tomorrow. Um, and we'll go on like that until it's done. Um, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So I've chosen one of my absolute favorite books from when I was around about year three, four. Um, it's a Roald Dahl book and it's less well known um, perhaps than some of the other ones like you George's Marvelous Medicine and the Twits and things like that. And the book that I've chosen is The Magic Finger. And this is the front cover. Now, some of you will have heard of it and some of you might even know the story, um, but uh, I hope you enjoy it. So get comfortable, give yourself a wriggle, and then I'll start. So, um, there's the first picture, and you might recognise that the illustrator is Quentin Blake, and we've done some work on him in the past. So, the farm next to ours is owned by Mr and Mrs Greg. The Greggs have two children, both of them boys. Their names are Philip and William. Sometimes I go over to their farm to play with them. I'm a girl and I'm eight years old. Philip is also eight years old. William is three years older. He's 10. What? Oh, all right, he's 11. Last week, something very funny happened to the Greg family. I'm going to tell you about it as best I can. Now, the one thing that Mr. Greg and his two boys loved to do more than anything else was to go hunting. Every Saturday morning, they would take their guns and go off into the woods to look for animals and birds to shoot. Even Philip, who was only eight years old, had a gun of his own. I can't stand hunting. I just can't stand it. It doesn't seem right to me that men and boys should kill animals just for the fun they get out of it. So I used to try and stop Philip and William from going. Every time I went to their farm, I would do my best to talk them out of it, but they only laughed at me. I even said something about it once to Mr. Greg, but he just walked on past me as if I went there. Then one Saturday morning, I saw Philip and William coming out of the woods with their father and they were carrying a lovely young deer. This made me so cross that I started shouting at them. And there is the picture of her shouting at Mr. And Mr. Greg and his two boys with the deer. The boys laughed and made faces at me and Mr. Greg told me to go home and mind my own P's and Q's. That means he wanted to mind her own business. Well, that did it. I saw red. And before I was able to stop myself, I did something I never meant to do. I put the magic finger on them. Oh dear, oh dear. I even put it on Mrs. Greg, who wasn't there. I put it on the whole Greg family. For months, I had been telling myself that I would never put the magic finger upon anyone again, not after what happened to my teacher, old Mrs. Winter. Poor old Mrs. Winter. One day we were in class and she was teaching us spelling. Stand up, she said to me, and spell cat. That's an easy one, I said, K-A-T. You are a stupid little girl, Mrs. Winter said. I am not a stupid little girl, I cried. I'm a very nice little girl. Go and stand in the corner, Mrs. Winter said. Well, then I got cross and I saw red and I put the magic finger on Mrs. Winter, good and strong and almost at once. Guess what? Whiskers began growing out of her face. They were long black whiskers, just like the ones you see on a cat, only much bigger. 
and how fast they grew. Before we had time to think of it, they were out to her ears. Of course, the whole class started screaming with laughter and Mrs Winter said, will you be so kind as to tell me what you find so madly funny, all of you? And when she turned around to write something on the blackboard, we saw that she had grown a tail as well. It was a huge bushy tail. I can't begin to tell you what happened after that, but if any of you are wondering whether Mrs Winter is quite all right again now, the answer is no, and she never will be. There's poor old Mrs Winter. I'm glad none of you have ever done that to me. Look at her tail. The magic finger is something I've been able to do all my life. I can't tell you just how I do it because I don't even know myself, but it always happens when I get cross, when I see red. Then I get very, very hot all over. Then the tip of the forefinger of my right hand begins to tingle most terribly. And suddenly a sort of flash comes out of me, a quick flash like something electric. It jumps out and touches the person who has made me cross. And after that, the magic finger is upon him or her and things begin to happen. Well, the magic finger was now upon the whole of the Greg family and there was no taking it off again. I ran home and I waited for things to happen. They happened fast. I shall now tell you what those things were. I got the whole story from Philip and William the next morning when it was all over. That is where I'm going to stop. Tomorrow, we'll find out what happened to the whole Greg family from Philip and William. Enjoy the rest of your day. Do keep in touch. See ya.